Here we are in week five of scouting now. April has come and gone, and we are into May baseball and nearing the halfway point of our scouting season. We've gotten a closer look at some of these guys. Finished up the profile for Ricky Workman. Near finished it for Jonah Palma. We got our first look at Tom Catamer. Catamer is not interested in playing for the Cubbies. Not too much. Nope. The other two guys on the other hand are like, yeah, let's play. Yeah. And Jonah, that, that beard, man. Like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> First out of that guy, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> You're in. You're Love in, it. pal. All right, let's yeah. look at let's look at Ricky Workman. What's he here? Starting pitcher. Yeah, he's looking for 1.1 mil. Jeez, grainy much? <laughs> Dem stats? Yeah, we... We but could look that. at him as a possible round two pick. Uh, he's coming in in the low to mid 60s on the boards. That strikeout well, per nine is fucking scary. Yeah, it's a little low. <laughs> Don't like to see the red there. No, those numbers um, definitely have changed a bit. He looks actually, I think, more like a round three for me. Yeah, that's a round three guy. So maybe but, we can still we can still leave him on the board as a potential for three because some of those numbers are actually not bad. And I mean, we could look at training up some of those to, to kind of level them up a little bit. Jonah Palma looks like he could be pretty good. Would love to see him in round two for us, but our second pick is fifty-four. There's no yeah. chance we're seeing him. Well, the draft rank twenty-eight. He could still drop a little tiny bit in that draft rank another He'd couple have to weeks. Double it though. Well, you don't know. I mean, maybe some teams aren't looking for a catcher. You just never know. Yeah, we've seen some weird shit go on in the draft before, so hopefully, uh, hopefully, yeah, uh, he's still around. That's not a bad second round. I mean, he's got some good defensive numbers for a catcher, and he's got good contact. So vision, discipline are nice and up there too. Potentials. So yeah, I have a problem picking him in the second round if he can hold on, hold on, beard man. <laughs> Tom Cadmer, reliever. With good yeah, numbers. He, he looks really good. Yeah. I don't think that I would put him above Mark Argue, who we've got slotted for our first pick so far. Yeah, but he's... One but he looks very good. Yeah, he definitely... Uh, good. The worst thing is, yeah, with our draft, and there's no way he's going to be around in the second round either. I don't think... No. Not that, not that high. In the, if he was low draft rank, like low first round, or even high second round, he might still be there for us, but... Yeah, I don't think he'll be he'll be around, but shit, those numbers aren't bad. Yeah. Maybe someone to maybe earmark to keep an eye on, maybe when he's maybe he's a prospect to trade for. That's what we're doing. We're not scouting players. We're not scouting players for our team. We're scouting players to potentially trade for with our veterans. All right, so we have taken a look at starting pitcher. In all areas, uh, international, west, central, and east. So we have done our bulk scouting for starting pitcher at least. Um, is there any other positions you want to try to cover the regions in? Well, we are looking for third baseman. Yeah. So we could try doing some third base scouting, see if we can get a uh, third baseman for the future. Okay. Now with... Uh, our scout, Carlos Norman, he's our discovery slash pitcher expert. Okay. Um, well, we still need starting pitchers. We've done all those. <laughs> we, yeah. could, we could do relievers and see do what wanna, we can. Well, do you want to try to discover a pitcher? Do you want to try that? Carlos Norman is a discovery first kind of scout. Okay. Well, we've looked at the regions. Yeah, Carlos. Discovery 92. Well, that's pretty that's good. That's the highest stat out of any of them. Nobody else does the even position or pitchers better, I don't think. So that encompasses all pitchers, though, right? That's, it does, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So where so, do you want to look? What let's region? try international first, I think. International? I feel like that's the biggest pool. Yeah, it seems to give us a, a good shot. So we'll give uh, Carlos Norman a fucking shot at discovering a potential superstar pitcher. From the international region. Okay. Send him on vacation. Yeah. He's going to come back no. with 318 pitchers fast. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, now, our last two scouts, Kevin Galvin and Bucky Lane. 
Um, Kevin Galvin's good in all areas, and then Bucky Lane's good at position first, then discovery. So let's oh, do he's 95 position. So let's, uh, do you want to do, do a position for third baseman with Bucky? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So we want third base. We'll go international as well, I guess. Good old Bucky. Bucky and, uh, and Carlos grab a plane together. <laughs> and now, Calvin. Calvin. Um, we could also, if you wanted to, we could put him on third, or he's good everywhere. So we really have our pick, but uh, as we near the halfway point, we've got three potential picks slotted for the first and second round. Um, we don't really have anybody for later yet. Now, to... when we when we do the regions, I feel like that's where we'll get our look at the guys later. You know what I mean? Yeah, because we get numbers on everybody. You get numbers on everybody. I think that's the play. So with Kelvin, um, we can scout a position instead of a player, but I just don't know necessarily where. Um, He's better in pitchers and position players, though. Okay. Did you want to see if we can show up some relievers? We can if we can find a like a round three reliever. Do you want to go that. international as well? Get all all three of our scouts on the same plane. Everybody's going abroad. So we've taken the first two games versus Milwaukee and sealed the series, and now we're going for the sweep. Javier Assad versus Aaron yeah. Ashby. Assad has got to get his ERA under control. He had a good start early on, but lately has been sucking it up. Yeah, we watched a couple of spring training games, and he was doing really well. Very sharp. Yeah, not so much in the regular season, where he needed to be sharp. Yeah. There's a turnaround point right here. I got it. This, 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 this is, is it. it. Well, well. Yes, it is. His ERA is a 650. It dropped. We gave Ashby his first loss of the year as well. Good. Bellinger and Morrell with some bagels. Oh, and Harry Ford. Now he and Hap four for four on the day. God damn. He's someone pulling their fucking socks up. <laughs> Magical and Hap with doubles. Oh, Harry got hit by a pitch. Yeah. Wow. Magical and Hap are caught stealing. Yeah. Great yeah. game by Assad. Seven, and, seven two. and two thirds. Yeah. Twos across the board to get to the strikeouts. Seven. <laughs> That's not a bad outing at all. Yeah. Glider Jr. comes in to get the last out there in the eighth, it looks like. And then Al Zale comes in and has a outing that we're more used to seeing. <laughs> no yeah, runs. Definitely, definitely nice to see him get that sorted back out. Man, yeah, Lighter Jr.'s been stellar. Yeah, lights out, lighter. That's right. All right, we uh, sweep the Brewers. And now, yeah. we're, now we're going to take on the San Diego Padres, the UPS outfits of the MLB world. <laughs> yep, and it'll be Justin Steele versus Joe Musgrove. Oh. Dang. We get tagged up a bit. Yeah, that's a hard loss for game one. Oh, the bagels. Oh, man. Pete Crow Armstrong with a triple and an RBI, and then Bellinger with a solo shot. Not a bad game from Steele. Only two earned runs, four hits, three walks. It came down to Jordan Wicks. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Uh, two runs in the eighth, and it uh, definitely uh, kept us off the off the uh, path of redemption. Yeah, dang, that sucks. Yeah, another another poor outing by Wicks. He had that one good one, and now he had another bad one. Yep. I don't want to do the yo-yo again. Well, the thing is, um, errors cost us the game. There only four earned runs. They had four unearned runs. Yeah. Holy shit. By two errors. Two errors bring in two runs apiece? 
I don't know, I guess. Nolan Shanuel and Harry Ford are two two proud two young fellas cost us the game. Well, we only scored two, so technically they didn't. I mean they just made it look worse. Right, yeah. I mean the two earned runs by Justin Steele and then the two by Jordan Wicks, that was enough to seal it in. So yeah, yep. the airs the airs the airs hurt us, but I mean it was the other it two was done already. Yep. No, yeah, well, can't win them all. No, we can't, but we can win some of them. Let's try again in game two. Putting versus up. Hugh Darvish. Yeah, Jordan Montgomery versus Hugh Darvish. Let's let's uh let's see what uh, we can do to Brown here. Oh my. Damn. Oh, Kyle Hendricks is back. Yep, Hendricks is no longer injured. Martinez, Morel, Crow, and Amaya all with fucking bagels. Jeez. Only one walk, too. And eight strikeouts. Hap got another Homer. Oh, they got lighter. Oh, lighters for fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two weren't over the last. Uh, Monte is still with a zero ERA. I mean, Jordan, five and a third with three earned runs. That's not horrible. He kept it pretty under control with nine hits. Only three came through. Yeah. No, no walks. walks. Yeah, that's, that's great. Five strikeouts and one in inning. It just, uh, yeah. He got those two, the two spot in the, the ninth. And then we only got one. We couldn't come back. Dang. Damn, two rough ones. Yeah. So All the right. series goes down versus San Diego. Can we at least show a little bit of life we here? Avoid, we avoid going to get swept it here. Kyle Ooh. Hendricks is back. Yeah. Fresh off his injury. Yeah, going against Glenn Otto. Don't know the name. There we go. All right. Hey, Tyone gets the win. <laughs> his seventh of the year. Jeez. Tap again with a home run. Nice. Warner with two hits. Martinez with two hits. Bellinger got a hit at least. Yeah. Swanson bagged it up. And then Harry Ford bagged it again. He two strikeouts, too. Three at bats and two strikeouts. That's not great. Yeah. Madrigal stole a base. <laughs> JD Martinez tried to steal a base? What the fuck? <laughs> tried. Wow, Hendricks back from his injury and throws a stellar game. Seven and a third with only two hits allowed, one walk, and one earned run. Also only one strikeout, so... Yeah, odd. Looks like he got a ton of contact, but it was all working all, in our favor. Yeah, all playable. Yeah. Julian Merriweather come in, give up two walks and two strikeouts in an inning. Jesus. And a hit. Yeah, he done everything but let a run in. Good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Tyone comes in and gets his seventh win of the year. Crazy. <sighs> the fucking relievers got more wins than their starters. <laughs> this is, this is uh, what's his name all over again? Urquidy? No. Um, no? It wasn't Urquidy. Who the hell was the reliever that had all those wins? Oh, crap. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, oh, man. I don't know. I'm blanking now. All right. Let's look at the, let's look at the, the stand-ins here. Yeah. So we're two games back at the Cardinals. Pretty clear ahead of the rest of the division, though. Yeah. Yeah, 23 and 15. Everyone else is below 500. So Panther decided to take a look at a possible trade, and we have targeted Ellie De La Cruz with the Cincinnati Reds, and they actually said they would do this trade for Jordan Montgomery and Dansby Swanson, which would be us dumping nearly $27 million trading away our top-rated player in Dansby Swanson, one of our aging pitchers, Jordan Montgomery, and picking up one of the most highest-rated, valued prospects in all of baseball, the young Ellie De La Cruz with A potential. So we'll be doing a shortstop swap, throwing a pitcher in for good measure to the Reds, who are in our division, and... <laughs> There's some danger there of trading away two of our guys, but Swanson and Montgomery both have not been doing great, and we are looking towards the future with this game and are so excited to welcome Ellie De La Cruz. And we got him. Wow. Some big moves here at the beginning of the year, man. 
We've been very active on the trades. I'm really actually surprised. Yeah, I'm just, we we just we we dumped a lot of contract. Yeah, yeah, we like, did. Hey, like I said, um, Watson was making twenty five mil for the next like five years. Yeah, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he was. Dang, not, not us, not with us no more. No, not with us anymore. Ooh, Gary too. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's finish up this week and uh, see where we land. Yep, Lorenzen versus Luis Ortiz. We definitely look like the better pitching matchup, so hopefully that's right. Whoa! Oh my word! <laughs> Uh, we're in the seventh. I would say let's sim this one. Yeah. See how Lorenzen gets out of that jam. Ooh, nope. He didn't. Dang. Still low scoring affair. It's actually Leiter Jr. that took the loss. Oh, wow. Oops. Yeah. Martinez at a home run. There we go. With the both run, he, was only, he got the only runs and two run home run. PCA went three for four. That's and nice. Ellie De La Cruz, his first game as a Cub, he went two for three. There we go. All right. Yeah, Lorenzo, yeah, only give up one earned run. Oh, Sweet. man. Lighter Jr. could touch up for his first runs. He give up two. Yeah. Carl Edwards Jr., look at that. Hey. Called up and showing off how good he really is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what happened. Yes. <laughs> hey, he didn't get no hits, no run runs, no walks, but he didn't strike any bear. He, he got funny. two outs. That's what that's, we needed from exactly. him. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Lost by one. Uh, all right. Now, all right. we got Javier Assad, who needs to pull up his fucking socks. Yeah. Going up against Bailey. Falter? Falter? Gotta sure. Be Falter. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, my word. Dang, man. Another high scoring affair. We'll sim it, I guess. Dang, man. Nine to seven. What the hell? So there goes that series versus Pittsburgh. I don't like how this month has gone for us so far. I keep switching over. Yeah. Four walks, only three strikeouts. Nico Horner got two home runs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ellie De La Cruz got a double. Four with a double. Shane Rowe with a double. Five. Pete Crow with a triple. How did, yeah. we, how did we not win this fucking game? Yeah, I don't know, man. We out hit them. They just outscored us. Javier Assad, six earned over five and two thirds. Oh, thirds. man. It's so ugly. Yep. Almonte gave up his first run of the year. Yep. Man. Shoot. Rough. All right. Time for scouting. We discovered four prospects. Four, four pitchers. Yeah. We scouted nine third basemen. <laughs> 41 relievers. Yeah, one of these things is not like the other. Kelvin, holy shit. God. Did he did he kidnap every reliever and make them all pitch just like in one oh room or God. what? Here's oh. the issue that I have is that Carlos discovered four pitchers, but that could include a reliever as well. <laughs> so how do we how do we tell? I guess I guess if we go to um, just pick Carlos and then view prospect list recently scouted, um, and then switch it to starting pitchers. We'll see if there's that first. Okay, so he discovered two starting pitchers. Yep. All right, so Federico de la Rosa, who looks pretty damn good, actually. We that's almost this, exactly what we needed for round two. I know. Wow, wow, he yeah. looks pretty good, man. He'll give up, give up some hits, but he can get it under control given some time. 
Jesus, at 21 years old? Yeah. He's long, lanky, too. He's 6'2 and 183. Yeah. He's most likely got a high C or low B potential, but that's a pretty good pick, I think. <laughs> wow. You want, you want to do an actual weakest scouting on this kid? Not, not yet, because he's got 56% interest. Um, we've got plenty of time for him. Garrett Gutierrez looks okay, but he's not ranked on our board. I do feel like this is actually a later round pick. I'd yeah. be comfortable with, with five or six for him. Relievers in the West. Everybody's moving West. All right. We get that shit locked in. <laughs> So the second week in May has not gone well for us at all. We have dropped the series versus San Diego and then now also dropped the series versus Pittsburgh in hoping to avoid the sweep. We got game three versus San Diego. Can we do the same against Pittsburgh? We did. We did. Double A injury, a shoulder, and rub some dirt on it. All right. Six to one, we take game three. A little bit better performance from the boys. Yeah. Ellie De La Cruz with a triple. He's had a hot start for us. Home runs from Shanuel and Morrell. Yep. Pete Crow Armstrong with a sacrifice fly there. Wow, great game by Steele. Eight innings pitched, nine strikeouts, one earned run. Look and who closes it out. Carl Edwards Jr. <laughs> Blast wow. from the past. It's nice to see him do well, you know? Yeah. He was another yo-yo for us in the Nationals franchise. Man. We, uh, we swept Milwaukee and then proceeded to avoid getting swept two series in a row. Yeah. Fucking rough fucking start to May. Well, I mean, the sweep of Milwaukee was nice, but, I mean, you look at the board, it's so there's too many L's up there. Yeah. Yeah, it was four of our first five that we took, and then it just went off the rails. And look at the series, previous series in Atlanta. Yeah. We got Spencer Strider. Well, he's got a nine ERA, though. I think he's been out. He's only got so he, one inning. He won any pitched. Yeah, it was weird. He must have been injured. He must have. And Max Freed, and then Chris Sale. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be a tough, tough series, series versus Atlanta. 